Uh, dear Bill, um, Bill, I met you after a show in Pittsburgh. The black guy with the hot Latina. We laughed about my shoes matching my outfit. <laughs> Welp, my beautiful girlfriend for the past three years has a little bit of insecurity insecurity issues. Um, a lot of those absolutely gorgeous women do. And you know why it is? It's because their level, I'm without even reading this shit, the reason why I think a lot of them are fucking insecure is because because they're beautiful. And that goes away after a while. So the clock is just fucking ticking. You know, if you were just some regular douchebag like me, there's no pressure going back to your fucking high school reunion. I mean, there's, the expectations are so fucking low. You know, it's easy to surpass them. Like, oh, geez, he didn't get fat. This guy's awesome. (laughs) But if you're a fucking hot chick, it can just, it can only go downhill. And I also think that they have the same insecurity a rich guy has, where a rich guy's like, this woman's just with me because of my money, not because of who I am. I think that they have the insecurity that this person's just with me because of my ass and titties. Hi. All right. For some odd reason, she feels the need for me to prove to her that I love her whenever we're in a public setting. So recently, during some Christmas shopping, uh, she got upset that I wouldn't hold her hand as we walked through the mall. She proceeded to catch one of the one of her spicy Latin attitudes with me. Um, see, now, if you were white and you said that, and you said that on TV, you would have to apologize for nine weeks when you would lose your job. Why does it have to be spicy? Are you saying that Latino people are like their peppers? Um... All right, I'm going to stop commenting and just plow through this. Okay, so I handle handle uh, the situation like a G, parentheses, gentleman, and completely ignored her ass um, until we got into the car and I finally had enough of her telling me how I don't love her and how she wants me to love her. Oh, I don't love her how she wants me to love her and how unaffectionate of a man I am. And you know what, dude? That right there is probably how you got this hot girl because you weren't the first guy sitting there with your tongue hanging out of your mouth. You acted like you didn't even give a fuck, which fed into her insecurity of like, oh, my God, is the expiration date hit? Am I not hot anymore? Um, Look at me commenting again. All right, I swear these bitches are so um, unappreciative. (laughs) This is funny you call them bitches. Why can't these bitches understand how much I appreciate their ass? Uh, Every weekend, Bill, we do something. Dinner, movies, plays, etc. But because she has a vag, she has to find something to complain about. I think it's because women have this trait where they feel a strong need to be miserable. No, dude, you know what's going on? Is you're spoiling her. You're taking her to dinner, movies, plays every fucking weekend. She now she's come to expect it. You know what I mean? It's just become part of a routine. It's not special anymore. So now you have to do something extra special because special isn't special. You know? That's what I, I, you know what? I'm going to have to whisper this shit. We were up in San Francisco, right? I lit up my credit cards this Christmas, all right? My girl had a great fucking Christmas, all right? It's three days later. We're up in fucking San Francisco. She wants to go shopping. I'm like, for what? You didn't get enough, you know? So she knows I'm right. So what does she do? She tells me she wants a goddamn candle. Okay? Because it's not expensive, but she'll still feel like she got something. Because I don't know what it is. They always got to get stuff. There's always got to be some sort of a goodie bag. And you know what? I wouldn't get it for her. I wouldn't get it for her. I go, you're done. No, I'm not. It's over. My credit cards are still glowing. I'm not getting you shit. And, you know, She's cool as hell. So she just kept laughing because I was being unbelievably rude and I was being really loud. I was just joking around. And uh, but still, that's the thing. I just kept saying, I spoil you. I'm, I'm, you know, we're shutting it down for a while. You're not getting anything until Valentine's Day. You know, you want something now? I'll get you a little bag of Fritos. What do you think about that? Maybe something to wash it down with. <laughs> And then what they do is they immediately get mad. And then all you do is you don't take the bait. They want you to get mad so then they can turn it into a fight about something else because they know you're fucking right. All right? So let her be mad. All you got to do, you just got to stay fucking calm. Well, let's see what this guy does. Uh, 
So anyways, he goes, so we are driving along the highway, leaving the mall, and she's still bitching. And finally, I tell her, you know what? If you don't like the way I express my love for you, then step off. Uh, Got to read that quote like a black man. I can't. I'm not even going to try to. Uh, so immediately, I actually read that. I read that like a douchey East Coast white guy. Then fucking step off. Uh, how did you? If you don't like that motherfucker, then step off, bitch. How was that? Was that good? I know it wasn't. Well, then don't ask me to do it. All right, plowing ahead. You know what? I might have like a fucking substitute black guy for when black guys write some shit in here so you guys can read it the way you're supposed to say it. Other than that, you're getting fucking a cracker ass read and you're going to have to live with it. All right, so immediately after that, I said, after I said that, this bitch starts throwing these accurate and quick ass Pacquiao combos. She's punching you. Mind you, I'm doing 65 miles per hour down the highway trying not to hit the guardrail while at the same time getting this crazy bitch off me. Luckily, I didn't crash my year-old Mercedes. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Come on, dude. Do you love this girl or is she just another accessory? Um, my year-old Mercedes with the Corinthian leather. Uh, I get pulled over. Get pulled over or, God forbid, seriously injure us. I mush the hell out of her. And held her face against the passenger window. Totally acceptable. Totally. Ex- the mush is the gentleman move. You can't punch her. You just hold her head up against the glass. You know? So the people on the other side get to see what her face looks in a funhouse mirror. <laughs> <laughs> in order to decrease her reach while steering the car on the highway and absorbing her manly combos. Got to give it to her. The bitch had a mean right. Um... So if you can picture me driving, I can totally picture this, dude. I've lived this. Um, so you can picture me driving down the highway in a bright red Mercedes. So, okay, not I didn't ever had a Mercedes. It was more in a, a 83 Ford Ranger with black vinyl seats. <laughs> um, swerving like some drunk in and out of lane, steering with one hand and stiff arming the shit out of my girl as if I'm posing for the Heisman Trophy. After she stopped beating my face in, she had the nerve to say, I hit her and hurt her worse by pressing her face against the glass. Are you fucking kidding me? This bitch almost took both of our lives. Long story short, as soon as I was able to come to a safe and complete stop, I kicked the bitch out and haven't heard from her since. This was three weeks ago, and it's all for the best. That type of girl can never be satisfied, which is something I've learned the hard way over the past three years. But this was the straw that did it. So my question for you is, was I wrong in this situation? And do I owe her an apology? No and no. All right. All you can do is break down your game plan. All right. This is where you fucked up. You took the bait. All right. She kept bitching and bitching and bitching and bitching, trying to make you mad. She was. Tr- she got you to do exactly what she wanted you to do. So that gave her an, ap- an excuse to do what she wanted to do, which was fucking flip out and yell. All right? That's what they do when they know they don't have a fucking leg to stand on and they know they're wrong. What they then try to do, you know, not all of them and not in every situation, but when they're, they're not going to be an adult and just say, you know what, you're right. I'm being fucking crazy right now. I apologize. Okay? When they're not going to take that adult route, what they then do is they just push your buttons and they just try to make you mad and they just keep pushing you and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it until you then flip out and say something fucking crazy like, well, if you don't like it, then why don't you get the fuck out? And then they flip out. All right? So what you got to do is in the future is you, you just don't take the bait. You got to recognize, you know, they're doing, they're doing the fucking Dennis Rodman thing to you. They're baiting you into a penalty. That's all they're doing, okay? And the ref always sees the retaliation. That's basically, it's the same fucking thing. So in the future, just don't get mad. It will drive them up the fucking wall, and you won't believe the amount of arguments you're going to start winning. Because in their effort to piss you off, they're going to cross like 10 other lines, all right? Now, when they cross 10 other lines, if you take the bait and then go even further down the road, that's all that's remembered in the end. 
as you then try and piece together who said what when. But if they go, if they cross ten lines and you don't take the bait, they are ten lines beyond where the fuck they should be, and you got them dead to rights. And you just have to maintain your fucking cool. Now, getting back to this other shit is, you do not owe her a fucking apology. All right, it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. It's absolutely childish, and you can't, as an adult, expect somebody to not hit you if you're hitting them, all right? She's basically asking you to extend a common human-to-human courtesy that she's not extending to you, so she can go fuck herself. You definitely, I don't know if you made the right move. Now, I don't know if you walk around calling her a bitch and that type of thing. This is you just trying to be a tough guy. Going, then this bitch said this, and this, you know, this bitch said that. Uh, That's another thing. Don't go around calling them bitches, because that that, that just kills your argument. Don't ever call them bad names, all right? Just hold your ground. Don't lose your fucking cool. And let them go through their whole little fucking histrionics trying to get you to take the fucking bait, all right? And as long as in the relationship you admit when you're wrong and you sincerely apologize... They don't have a fucking leg to stand on when you're right. And you're going to start winning arguments and you're going to be happier. There you go. All right. And other than that, I don't know. Stop dating psychos. Stop dating.